Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In this video, we are going to learn about what is comparator interface in Java and why do we need it and how it internally works. And also, I am going to write a simple Java program to demonstrate how this comparator interface works and in a real-time programming. Hello guys, here we are going to talk about how the comparator interface works internally in Java. As always, I wish to go through with an agenda of uh, what we are trying to see in a program. So basically what we are going to see is what is a comparator interface in Java and why do we need comparator interface and basically it is for custom sorting and how the comparator interface works internally. So basically there is a method called compare. So using this method, we are going to overwrite our logic so that like it will be used for our custom sorting. So what I'm trying to go, going to do is I have written a program already. I am going to execute this program. First, I will explain the program and I will execute by in the normal mode. And then I'm going to run the same program in a debug mode so that you guys will understand how it actually internally works. So what I'm trying to do is I want to first emphasize the importance of comparator interface. So whenever we want to uh, add some data into array list or any, any um, collections framework. So if you want to sort it, you can go for collection dot sort of. Let's say if I'm adding a simple elements, let's say primitive elements, let's say 100, 500, right? These are all like primitive integers. So let's say I have list L is equal to new array list of inside this L, I am going to add 100, 500, 8, 76, 50. So these are all simple elements. So it will maintain just an order, the insertion order. And if I want to sort it, it will be in the sorted order. Let's say uh, based on, let's say if I say collection dot sort of L, so it will be in the ascending order. So 50, 100, 500, 876. But if I'm going for complex object, let's say employee, right? So in the complex objects, when I say employee, so employee or students or any car, vehicle, anything like that, right? So it will have its own, uh, you know, um, identifies or, or the primitive data inside. So let's say car, uh, you know, employee ID or employee name or salary like that, right? So this is an employee is a class. So I have written a class here called employee. So if you guys see here, class employee, inside we have integer employee ID, salary employee, sorry, integer salary and then uh, string employee name. And then I'm just writing, you know, get us and set us for this one just to have a printout. And then I'm just overwriting the employee uh, constructor. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, if I want to just, uh, you know, um, see this employee list, right, how it got added, see it will be based on the insertion order. The way how it got inserted, it will be uh, added. But if I want to sort this particular list based on, let's say, my custom or own defined uh, parameter, let's say, if I want to uh, sort this list based on employee id or employee name or employee salary then i can do for collection dot sort of give this list and then i can go for comparator so this is where i am actually overwriting this uh, comparator um, i am going to implement the comparator interface basically inside there is a compare method in this actually there are two parameters one is adding object which is like a new object and the other one is a existing object so based on your logic written here it will be sorted so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to first execute this program in normal mode. Okay, you guys can see here, right? And then I'm going to execute in the debug mode. So you will understand clearly. So what happened here is if I go back to the previous lines, so line number 29, right? So basically it maintained the insertion order. If you guys see here, the insertion order is maintained for the integer objects, which is 100, 500, 876 and 50. And then I'm saying collection dot sort of L. So here it is actually default sorted which means like ascending order, which is because of integer. So it's 50, 100, then 500, and then 876, right? But in case of array list of employee data, right? Employee class data, you guys can see here in this particular line of code, like 41, uh, maintain the insertion order. So we have inserted based on like 126, 456, 789, and 99. You guys can see here 129, sorry, 123, 456 data, and then employee with uh, 789 data and then employee id with 99 so this is how it got added by default right because it is like insertion order but since we have added our logic here if i want to uh, sort the data based on salary so here what i'm doing is the adding employee data whatever the adding um, employee object the salary is greater than existing employee then return one return one means like add it in the next if else otherwise in the previous so it means like i want to add the em uh, employee data in the employee list based on the salary in the ascending order. If you guys see here, the first element is added with employee with the salary 350. 
the second element is added with the employee with the salary 1000 the third element is added with the employee with 2000 and then fourth element will be the salary with the 3000 which means the employee elements got added into the list with increasing order of salary because of this logic so now i am going to execute this program in a debug mode so what i have to do is i have to first create a breakpoint so double click this line and then uh, right click this program and then debug as java application okay you can just switch it over okay so you guys can see uh, different windows basically variable window and then actual class and then you can see the console so what i should do is i have to execute line by line so that is the purpose of this debug mode so what i can do is step over which is like this one you have to click on this one f6 okay first line has been executed which is like list l is equal to new or list of you guys can see it here in the parallel okay list has been created with default size 0 now again step over f6 okay first element got added which is 100 you guys can see in the element okay in the zeroth bucket 100 has been added and similarly 500 has been added in the first bucket and then 876 has been added in the second bucket and then 50 has been added in the third bucket right you guys can see it here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a sorting right let's say system dot println so basically it is nothing but just print it whatever it has so 100 500 876 50 so 100 500 876 50 now i'm going to execute collection dot sort of you guys will see the switching or the swapping of the elements here based on the sorting so yeah now it got started right so if you guys see here 50 100 500 876 i'm just going to print it over here so 50 100 500 876 so this is a normal uh, object but now i'm going to go for array list of employee so when i go for employee you guys can see here employee list has been created so let me close this one the previous one and let's focus on the employee list so in this employee list what we are trying to do is we are going to add this elements employee objects into this employee list so let me execute line by line you guys will see the first zeroth element uh, zeroth bucket has been added with 123 john 1000 and then next okay so sec first bucket will be employee id uh, 456 kumar 2000 and then next okay second bucket with 789 uh, san with 350 and then next element so third bucket is has been added with 99 maddy 3000 so this has been added i am just going to print it over here so that is why it is printed as based on uh, inches in order right now based on this logic right whatever we have written here the compare method so what we are trying to do is it, if you guys see here this has been sorted already based on this one um a salary if you guys see here the first zero element is with salary 350 first element is with salary 1000 second element is with uh, 2000 and then third element is with uh, salary 3000 if i go to print it over here which will be the same thing here so right now what we did is the employee list has been sorted the employee objects based on salary of the employee so if you guys see here the salary of the employee of 789 is 350 because of 350 is the lowest one salary so that's a, that has been come in the first element right so we can define our own custom sorting order here so the next element is thousand salary that is the next biggest number salary and the next biggest highest salary is 2000 and then next highest salary is 3000 so this is how the uh, elements has been rearranged inside or sorted inside the employee list based on the salary similarly if you guys want to make it like a different way let's say let me close this uh, stop this program and come back to the normal mode and let's say if i want to um uh, take the salary of the employee and sort it in a different way let's say what i can simply do is in the descending order simply i can say return minus one and return one so basically you guys have to understand what is mean by this return statement so here what we are trying to do is whatever we are going to get it here right so adding employee is the uh, the the coming then the next element is coming in the first parameter and the existing employee will be in the first second parameter so you have to write the logic here so now i have written the logic to add it in the reverse way so adding employee is greater than existing employee it means that adding employee should go in the before so let me go and run this program you guys will see the difference here yeah so the first element is salary is 3000 and then the next element is 2000 salary 2000 salary and the next element is 1000 salary and then the last element is 350 salary so this is how you can you know tweak between the uh, the based on the requirement you guys can write it over your logic but uh, actually we have to understand how this compare method works 
what is the parameter we are going to receive it and whatever the logic we want our own custom sorting order we can define here and that will be based on uh, the sorting will be based on that logic so i hope you guys have understood this concept so i would strongly recommend you guys can write the exact program in your eclipse you can take a note of this program in your uh, program in your eclipse and then write it over there and then try to execute the same way how we executed in the video so that you guys will understand how the comparable uh, sorry the comparator interface internally works and how this compare method actually is actually executing this value based on return values right you guys can take a note of this employee class as well just to say what are the parameters we have created and how we are actually overwriting the employee uh, constructor and just a get, get us and set us that's all this is a very simple program i just want to execute this program in a debug mode so you guys understood how it actually internally works line by line and when it got inserted actually by default it will be insert based on array uh, maintain uh, maintain the insertion order because of array list but when i say collections dot sort of employee list with the comparator interface that is where the actual scenario got changed i hope you guys have understood this concept uh, so once you guys execute in your program in your eclipse and if you guys have any questions or any concerns please post your comments in the comment section i will be more than happy to assist you guys thanks for watching guys bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys